I just want to say I'm sorry. This is going to be the last day everybody hear from me, bro. Just come get my son first. Here. Watch our show. Here. Here, Egypt. Get you some food, huh? Shooting scene, of course, our cameras captured this video here moments when a small child was handed off to another officer, then into a waiting ambulance. Now, this video is just one of the many intense moments caught on camera today. Fox Original Squad. We got a shooter in a second floor balcony. Suspect in the Brown Deer apartment shooting over the weekend have now been identified. Broken is torn. I don't sleep at night. I think about her. I think really about my little nephew because I go see him every day. Family, what it do, y'all? Today, we got to take it to Brown Deer Village of Wisconsin. Brown Deer is a village in Milwaukee County, Wisconsin, United States. It's listed as a suburb of Milwaukee. It is part of the Milwaukee metropolitan area. The population was only 12,507 at the 2020 census report. Fam, today, we got to talk about a Chicago rapper who killed his baby mom and himself in front of his child. Fam, brace yourself, because this might be another case of mental illness, and why it's always important to check on your loved ones. But listen, fam, before we get into any of this, remember, I don't give you no angle. I just give you the story. With that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and we're going to jump right to it. LeVar Huddles, also known as Valley Vale. This man did an unhumane act in Brownville from a murder that took in place all with the eyes of Facebook Live, possibly damaging his son life, sent his parents down in front of him for the rest of his life. Fam, that LeVar guy, he was the suspect of that shooting that took out three individuals. And one person was severely injured. The day of this incident was February 5th, 2022. But fam, before we continue, it's important to note that he was on trial from a previous gun-related case. Fam, y'all gotta remember, COVID was a huge part of the world last year and the year before. So even when it came to court cases, his previous court case kept being pushed back in the earliest date, which was March 22nd. But fam, let's stay on track. It was a cold winter morning in Brown Deer, Wisconsin. You could still see the snow on the ground in the cars from a previous snowfall. According to a report, police officers had dispatched to an apartment complex in the 8900 block of North Park Court at around 10.09 a.m. for shots fired with the victim in the parking lot. As they arrived on the scene, they later found out that Hudson, a.k.a. Valley Vale, was also on Facebook Live discussing the whole incident. And for the respects of his family, I won't play the actual killings in his life, only his words before and after the shootings. I also know how he talk about mental illness, fam. And along with that, his kid was actually in the same apartment. Just come get my son first. No, come get, have somebody come get my son. He in the house with me. No! Yes! Hey, y'all, I just want to say I'm sorry. This is going to be the last day everybody hear from me, bro. This is going to be the last day y'all hear from me, bro. I'm sorry. There's just been too much going on. Police out here. She did. Police right there. Somebody come get my son first. This not finna end well for nobody, cuz. Yeah, so I've been dealing with a lot, but trying to. Ain't nothing finna justify my actions, bro. I've been dealing with a lot. I just need somebody to get my son. Oh. Uh, with shit. This, this, attention to everybody, bro. If you have a nigga around you or anything like that, bro. Be mindful of what these niggas be going through, bro. Don't nobody like to be mindful of that shit then be playing games with a motherfucker, bro. <sighs> so, all right, bro, it's already over with. Police all through this bitch. Like I said, I'm sorry, bro. I be trying, but shit just don't be good enough.
this was my outfit that I wanted to get buried in. Nice little jacket. I know he do. But he got good grand he got good grandparents. Yo y'all. Egypt, huh? <sighs> Shit. Baby. He's up here. Come here. He's up. <clears throat> here, man. Come on. He's up. Come here. Watch your show. Okay. Watch our show. Here. Here, Egypt. Get you some food, huh? I'm sorry, I couldn't. I couldn't. I'm sorry. I know you get your, your strongest battles to your strongest angels. I failed you and everybody else. Please continue to watch over my son as he lived his life. And I, I, I pray best for his mama and her family. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen. Please forgive me. Three people are dead after an apartment complex shooting in Brown Deer. I still hear shots going off in the background of my call now. Police say it started with a domestic dispute around 10 Saturday morning. They responded to the Park Plaza apartments for reports of shots fired and a shooting victim down in the parking lot. Upon our officer's arrival, they were shot at by a suspect from the second floor. No officers were injured and they did not return fire. Resident Felicia Blue's daughter was inside their apartment when it happened. She actually told me that the shooter is on our floor and that he's on his balcony. So we just advised her to stay low, stay away from the door, stay yeah. away from the windows. And the balcony. Yeah, and stay quiet. Police say they believe the shooter was a 26-year-old man who they say killed himself after shooting three others. One person survived. Did you hear that anyone was randomly shot? Uh, we're not sure. At this point, I don't know all the relationships of all the victims involved. Uh, we, at, we know at least two knew each other. Police say there was a child inside the apartment during the shootings. That child is now safe with family members. In Brown Deer, Courtney Sisk, WISN 12 News. Family, before we continue, I want to say RP to all the victims that was involved. And also, I want to send a prayer to the little kid that also had to witness that trauma. Fan Valley Vale. He from Chicago. He moved to Milwaukee to pursue his rap career with his baby mom and his son. His latest track, dating back a year ago, titled called I'm Back, that was under his YouTube channel that had around 433 subscribers to this date. He was 26 years old on the date of this shooting and left a two-year-old kid behind. His son's mom was a nurse assistant. Her name was Ariuna Nicole, rest in peace. She was a daily TikTok user with over 16,000 likes. Her third to last post was actually a post with him during a relationship goals story. Knowing when they're hungry. Who's the homebody in the relationship? Who's more spoiled? Who's more grumpy? Who lies more? <laughs> Who takes care of the other when drunk? <laughs> Who has better hygiene? Yep. Who calls or texts more? <laughs> Who's the alpha in the relationship? <laughs> Who has the cuter smile? Who loves the other person more? Who can't wait for marriage and kids? Who fell? Dang, fam. Deep I get into this, the sad I get. She was only 23 at the time her life was taken. Fam, that PTSD and that trauma 
And especially if you mix it with alcohol or even drugs, it's nothing to play with. It's serious. And please, fam, like I tell y'all, go check on your loved ones. Make sure everybody okay. With that being said, fam, I'm dying to know how y'all feel. Because that was the story of a Chicago rapper who moved to...